In today's video, I'm going to be going over three tricks you've probably never heard of or used when you're doing keyword research for Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing. What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Dane and on this channel I talk all about self-publishing books on Amazon, on entrepreneurship, and just lifestyle in general. So if that kind of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video, and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. In today's video, it's gonna be a quicker one. I'm going over three different tricks that you can use and add to your arsenal when it comes to doing keyword research for your Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing and Audible ACX business. And if you're not familiar, keywords are just the topics that we make our books about. And in order to find a good keyword, it has to be in demand, have low competition, so that we can get in there and make a book about it and start selling copies on Amazon and on Audible if it works in Audible as well. So. In today's video, I'm just be walking you through three of these tricks. Very simple, very easy to follow, and uh, I'm gonna bet, I'm not gonna bet, but I'm gonna guess that you probably haven't seen at least one of these tricks, and you'll be surprised when you see them. They're very simple, but they're very valuable and easy to use when it comes to keyword research, and you can definitely find that one keyword that you may not have found if you didn't use one of these tricks. So, without further ado, let's jump into my computer. I'll walk you through these tricks on amazon.com. Okay, so we're on Amazon here, and uh, in order to do keyword research, all we usually do is go to the books category on Amazon, and we'll either go to the best sellers section so we can find some keywords to look for or categories, and once we found some categories, we can go in there and find some keywords that might be popular. Once you've found those keywords, come to this page on Amazon and start searching them. One of the keywords I'm gonna need today is just horticulture. Uh, it's just a very simple keyword that I was looking at. I saw it on Amazon. It has some demand. So if you search it, it does pop up. It does autofill. That is one of the things we're looking for with keyword research. And I did talk about this method, uh, just typing in random letters and seeing what autofills. Because if it autofills, it means it's in demand on Amazon. And it might be a keyword for us that's worth looking into. Horticulture does autofill. I'm going to click it here and we're going to search it. And you can see it has literally over 50,000 results. So this isn't really a keyword that you'd wanna look into, but I'm just gonna use it for sake of example in this video. So you can see there's 50,000 results up top here, which is honestly way too many. You want less than 5,000 results usually when you're looking for a keyword. But again, it's just for the example of this video. So next thing you wanna do is go to a book that has um, a, your keyword in the title or something that's a little bit different it might have some potential so i was scrolling through and i looked at this one called propagating plants i'm just going to click it and take me to the product page so this is something that you'll do when you're doing keyword research and i have other videos on my channel about the steps to take in order to get to this point in your keyword research journey so i have all the keyword research stuff on my channel already but these are some tricks you can add to your keyword research methods okay so once you're on a book page this is trick I guess it's tip number one. Um, I know a lot of people don't do this and it's so simple. If you find a book that's in your keyword or in your niche, scroll down and you'll see a bunch of related books. And most of the time, these related books aren't gonna be the exact same keyword. This one right here is Propagating Plants. That is the keyword of this book. The ones below it are not anything really related to propagating plants. You can see this one is How to Not Kill Your House Plants. So that's a different keyword. Root, Nurture, Grow. This is a different kind of book. This one's actually about propagating and sharing houseplants. So it is a bit similar. Plant Parenting. So this is basically just how to grow houseplants. A bit different of a keyword. So there's a new one. You write that down. Houseplants for beginners. Write that down. Uh, pests and Diseases uh, for plants or gardening, I guess. That could be another keyword. Write that down. Backyard Plant Nursery. Another keyword. So you can see that literally just by going to one of the books that fell within my first keyword that I searched and then going down, scrolling down, looking at the customers who viewed this or customers who bought this also bought sections, you'll see there are tons and tons of different keywords that you can look into and start researching and seeing if they're in demand and they have potential to make a book about. Okay, you can see succulents, beginner's guide, saving seeds, like this, I've literally found like 10 keywords already to look into just by doing this. And I know a lot of people don't do this, so if you don't do it, start doing it, because you can find a lot of keywords if you're having a tough time with keyword research. So moving into the next one. Next thing I would suggest you do after you do that, if you're having a tough time finding keywords, is go to the author's page, okay? Most of the time, that author is gonna have similar books to that one keyword. They're about different keywords that you can also look into and see if they have demand and if you're interested in them. So I'm gonna go to Alan, Alan Tugood's author page. Should be able to go to his page. Let's click this one. Okay, 
So now I'm on his author page, and you can see his number one book is that Propagating Plants. Let's click paperback, and we'll see. It'll sort it by popularity. So he has a lot of books, um, or she, I think it's a guy, Alan. Uh, they don't have very good rankings, so this isn't the best example, but sometimes you'll go to an author's page, and you'll see that they have a bunch of books that are ranking very highly in different niches. And you can see this is Plants from Cuttings. It's a different keyword. Plants Propagation, another one that we just looked into. Propagation has lots of books about propagation. American Horticulture Society, different kind of keyword. Low maintenance gardening, that might be a keyword look, worth looking into. And even if the BSR is very high, because again, we're looking for BSRs that are below 150K for it to be in demand. 5 million is very high. Even if it's high like that, look it up, because that book might be ranking or it might be in a niche that's in demand. It's just the book isn't selling very well. Um, gardening in the Shade, haven't really heard of that before. These are all very old books. You can see 1993, 1993, 1993. It's not the best example. So if I go back, let's see if we can find a better example of looking into an author name. So let's go to this one. This book is uh, ranked around 57K, I think. So it's got a good BSR. I'm gonna go to Richard Bray's author page and see what other books Richard Bray has. So this is a better example. You can see there are a bunch of different books with different keywords in the title. Mushroom cultivation, hydroponic marijuana is a different keyword. Uh, I don't know if that one's a great one to get into. You can't really advertise books with marijuana in the title. Uh, but mushroom cultivation, definitely another keyword you write down. Healing mushrooms, uh, hydroponics again is another keyword. It's not the one that I searched up, horticulture, but hydroponics, again, I've talked about hydroponics many times. Aquaponics, natural herb remedies, these are all different keywords that you can look into, and all I had to do was click the author page and go to it and see what other his books are. So definitely a good method if you're struggling to find keywords. Finally, moving into method number three. If we go from Richard Bray's book here and I go to the ratings, one thing, and it's just a tip that I can you can do, and it only works sometimes. It does take a little bit more time, but if you're struggling to find keywords and you're looking in a particular niche and you want to find a keyword that works for you in that niche that you're interested in, this is a good way to do it. So the one thing I do is click on the reviewer's profiles, okay? Because chances are, if they're reading a book about hydroponics in the first place, they're gonna be really reading similar books that are related to that book um, and reviewing them. So if I go to someone's page here, let's go to Royal Prince. And again, it's gonna be more difficult because they're not gonna be just reviewing books. They'll have like different products they might be reviewing. But sometimes, only sometimes you'll find that they have other reviews about different books that are related to that same book that you had the first time. So in this case, the hydroponics one, and they might have a good keyword that you can get into. It's rare. It's hard to find. Not going to lie. Um, but look at right here. So this is actually a good example. Mushroom cultivation. I did after scrolling for about literally 10 seconds, I came across another keyword and we already have seen this keyword. But again, if I didn't click the guy's author page and I just went to uh, that reviewers page, I would have found this book and this keyword and would have been like, okay, maybe I'll make a book about it and check if the keyword's um, popular and demand, do all your checks that I talked about in my other keyword research books and it might be worth it to get into. So if I go to the ratings again, let's go to Omar Fink's review page and see what other books he's reviewing. So this guy's got lots of books he's reviewing. Vegetable gardening in the Southwest. Could be a keyword, write it down, check it later. The Essential Wild Food, Wild Food Survival Guide. Could be a keyword, check it later. So this is a very good one. I'm on this guy's page and I'm looking through and he's got lots of book reviews. Substance, a guide for modern hunter. Okay, could be a keyword. Crisis preparedness, could be a keyword. Tons of keywords on this guy's page. So again, click the reviewers of books that you're looking into and see what other books they're reviewing. And there could be books with good keywords. This was a very good example, Omar Fink, and he has tons of reviews about similar books, about different keywords that you could get into that are in demand. So guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed those three tips and tricks for Amazon KDP uh, keyword research. Um, they actually turned out pretty good in this video. I just did that live, I didn't really check it beforehand, and a bunch of stuff actually popped up. So you can see this; these methods are very um, effective if you're struggling to find keywords for your Amazon Kindle Direct publishing business. If you haven't yet, Make sure you join my 100% free 
Facebook group community all about KDP and ACX self-publishing secrets. Um, KDP being paperbacks and ebook self-publishing and ACX being audiobook self-publishing. So if you're interested in either of those things and you want to get into this online business model, it's a very good online business model. I've been doing it for over two years now and it's done amazing for me. So if you want to get into it and create an online income, this is a great first step is to join my free Facebook group. The link is in the description down below. There are already over 2,500 people in there. You can post questions, talk about different topics when it comes to Kindle Direct Publishing or Audible ACX and learn a thing or two 100% free. And if you join the group right now, you'll find pinned to the top of the group is a 100% free PDF that I've made that's about five steps to getting started with self-publishing. So you can download 100% free if you join the Facebook group. So I hope to see you in that group. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. I try to post new videos every single week all about self-publishing, lifestyle, and just entrepreneurship in general. So again, if you like those guys, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one and I'll see you in next week's video. Peace.